Hello, Where We Are listeners. If you're a longtime fan of this podcast or you're just joining us for the first time today, we want to tell you more about our podcast platform called Spotify for Podcasters. We've been using this platform for over a year and it's been easy to use and new features are added all the time. You can record and edit podcasts from your phone or computer. You don't need anything fancy and you don't need previous podcast experience. When you hit publish, you will distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify if that's your kind of thing. And with Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. But here's the thing. You can earn money, but it's a free platform. There's no catch. If you're curious or want to see what it's all about, download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. With our partnership with Thistle Farms, I want to tell you it's been just wonderful supporting a social enterprise that's designed to help women survivors of human trafficking and addiction. I especially love their candles and love lighting one up during my evening wind down, and it's lovely to know we're supporting a great social enterprise. If you're on the hunt for the perfect gift or want to pamper yourself, head on over to thistlefarms.org. We've partnered with them to give you 15% off. Just use the code WHEREWEARE at checkout. This is Melissa Ware. You're listening to The Morning Five on February 2nd, 2023. For our scripture today, I'm going to read from Romans chapter 8, verses 1 through 17. Those who belong to Christ Jesus are no longer under God's judgment. Because of what Christ Jesus has done, you are free. You are now controlled by the law of the Holy Spirit who gives you life. The law of the Spirit frees you from the law of sin that brings death. The written law was made weak by the power of sin, but God did what the written law could not do. He made his son to be like those who live under the power of sin. God sent him to be an offering for sin. Jesus suffered God's judgment against our sin. Jesus does for us everything the holy law requires. The power of sin should no longer control the way we live. The Holy Spirit should control the way we live. So don't live under the control of sin. If you do, you will think about what sin wants. Live under the control of the Holy Spirit, and if you do, you will think about what the Spirit wants. The thoughts of a person ruled by sin bring death, but the mind ruled by the Spirit brings life and peace. The mind ruled by the power of sin is at war with God. It does not obey God's law. It can't. Those who are under the power of sin can please God. But you are not ruled by the power of sin. Instead, the Holy Spirit rules over you. This is true if the Spirit of God lives in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. If Christ lives in you, you will live. Though your body will die because of sin, the Spirit gives you life. The Spirit does this because you have been made right with God. The Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, is living in you. So the God who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your bodies. He will do this because of his Spirit who lives in you. Brothers and sisters, we have a duty. Our duty is not to live under the power of sin. If you live under the power of sin, you will die. But by the Spirit's power, you can put to death the sins you commit. Then you will live. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. The Spirit you receive doesn't make you slaves. Otherwise, you would live in fear again. Instead, the Holy Spirit you received made you God's adopted child. By the Spirit's power, we call God Abba. Abba means Father. The Spirit himself joins with our spirits. Together, they tell us that we are God's children. As his children, we will receive all that he has for us. We will share what Christ receives, but we must share in his sufferings if we want to share in his glory. May God bless the reading of his word. Good morning. Welcome to another Morning 5 with me, Melissa, while Michael is out on travel. This is our last Morning 5 for the week, and we will see you on Sunday for another episode of Where We Are. So let's get to the news. Hello, Clive. President Biden and Speaker McCarthy held their debt limit and budget talk at the White House yesterday afternoon. There was no deal brokered, which really isn't a surprise, but McCarthy came out of the meeting with some positive notes. He called it, and quote, a good first meeting. He also said, and quote, I think that at the end of the day, we can find common ground. McCarthy told reporters um, after the meeting, he informed Biden that the House would not pass a clean debt ceiling with no strings attached. 
Then the White House, in a statement after the meeting, also said the president, and quote, welcomes a separate discussion with congressional leaders about how to reduce the deficit and control the national debt while continuing to grow the economy. Also in the House, as Republicans promised, they launched two investigations yesterday. The Oversight Committee will question officials on alleged fraud and abuse in COVID pandemic assistance. This particular investigation could possibly get bipartisan interest, and the Judiciary Committee will hear from local officials about President Biden's handling of issues on the southwest border with Mexico. One of our listeners asked if egg prices would ever drop in episode 50 of Where We Are, and I'm here to say that according to some news stats, egg prices have dropped by about 40% from their high. The USDA reports that the average price of a dozen eggs is down from its December peak of about $5.30. I mean, whew. A dozen eggs now costs just over $3. For many, that is still extremely expensive. I know that uh, my eggs used to cost somewhere in like the dollar range. And I've been buying ours from Lytle or Aldi these days because the prices have just been just wild. Nikki Haley, former governor of um, South Carolina, is expected to announce her 2024 presidential campaign on February 15th in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, the former governor has had previously said she wouldn't run against former President Trump, but here we are. When she announces, she'll be the second candidate in the Republican race next to Trump. Yesterday, the FBI conducted a planned search of President Biden's Delaware home for classified documents. No documents were found in this particular search. This is part of the ongoing probe into documents found in Biden's home and his think tank over the past few months. Let's close, as always, with Dallas Willard's version of the Lord's Prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. Have a great Thursday and a great weekend. Be well.